In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a bar line combo where the line will reposition itself at this specific line of the scale. So to do this, what we need is, first of all, is the boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So to do this, the first thing what we'll be doing is adding a line, line chart or data set here to make this a combo bar line chart. So basically what I'm going to do here is going to copy all of this. So we have this data set here, comma, paste, there we are. And then what we're going to do here, comma, then we say here type, and this will be the oh, line item or line chart. There we are. So as you can see here, this is the biggest struggle here is how do we position this item here or at starting off this line there. So I'm just going to give it some different numbers. So we have a clear difference here, four, five, and six, seven. Save, refresh, there we are. So now what I want to do is I'm going to create a plugin. So it's a comma plugin. And we make sure this is plugins, it's an array. And then in the array, we can say here, um, what is a nice term for this? I guess line reposition. Copy this. This is a constant, so we can say here, constant this. Then the ID of this, we can say line reposition. And then, of course, here we're going to say here the before data sets draw. The reason why I want this is because I want to re position these x points so we want it before we draw them and not after or else it's too late anyway we're going to do that with a chart arcs login options then i'm going to say a constant let's say equals chart and then i'm going to say here ctx and then i'm going to say here probably we'll be needing the data i would like to have the data um, the scales will be very important and then specifically I guess the X scale because I want to play around with the left and right coordinates or position. So that's the X. We don't need the Y for this case. So now I have this. I'm going to say here ctx.save to save all variables above. Then I say here ctx. Dot, or well, let me just explain what we're going to do. The number one thing is how can I make sure that I get this specific data set here if you have multiple bars? So I want to make sure, first of all, can I get this specific bar or uh, data set with the type line? So let me show you here a handy trick. I'm going to say here uh, console log. Then we're going to say here chart.get data set meta. This is a built in functionality from Chart.js. In this case, we have data set one. I'll put it as a hard code later on. We'll soft code this. And then we can just say here save. And then refresh, open up the developer tab, and we get the object. And if I say here, um, hold on, what is that? 109. Let's say here dot type. I would like to know the type of it. There we are. That's line. If I say zero, even though we do not specify it here in the bar item, it will understand it is a bar because of the default type here. Let's save that refresh. There we are. All right, so that makes all sense. So once we can distinguish which one it is, and let me just show you if I'm just going to grab another one, let's put it in here. Comma, uh, bar, delete all of these colors. Delete this because the type is now by default set to bar because of the type here. That will overrule the specific value that we assign here. All right, as you can see here, we have this all. Beautiful. Let's start to continue on. So now what I want to do here is um, I want to loop through these data sets here. So what I'm going to say here, and this is why we have the data here. I want to loop through every one of these and then just check which one have the type of line. So the data dot data sets, and then we're going to say here dot for each. So I'm going to use a for each loop, and I'm going to say here for every data set. And I'm going to get the index, and then I'm going to say here, um, 
function our expression like that there we are and then what i'm going to say here if i'm going to create an if statement if this item and then of course we're going to just grab the index I'm going to look through them equal strict line i want it to be exactly the same in that case i say console log let's say the index so you can see which index it is it should know it should be index one there we are and we have another one with a bar because we have that copied here let's remove this save refresh all right so that's loud and clear it works so now what we can do here is to reposition this so what i want to do here is i want to get the x coordinates of the line here and those lines whatever the coordinate is will be the new coordinate on the x for the ticks or for the points so what I want to say here is, well, let's see where we can find these information. So I'm going to say a chart, a console log and chart, get data set meta index, I guess the index, and I say a dot data. And then maybe specifically here, data point zero, that will be this specific one. So um, save, refresh, open up developer tab, there we are, the point element, and now we get the x and y coordinates. And then uh, let's see here, that's this one here. So what I could do here basically is say this will now be 25. All right, oh, not like that. I need to say x will be equal to 25. I want to get the specific x. And as you can see here, look at that. Now it is being repositioned elsewhere. So once you understand the logic, what I need to know now is what is this line value? So let's go and figure that one out. And then we have to do a for each loop because we have not only zero, but we have X amount of points, in this case, seven data points. So what I'm going to say here is, uh, we can say here X, because we're going to get the X scale here. Then say here the ticks, or let me just give you a console log as well. So we have all of those as a visual. X dot ticks, save refresh open up the developer tab again let's see here array of seven you can see all these values these values are not pixel values these are values based on i guess on this here because this is a category axis so this is one two three four five or i think it even started zero if i'm not mistaken is it zero is the standard value all right so what i want to do here then is i want to convert whatever that zero is we will convert this into a position of uh, or into a pixel so we're going to say here ticks and then we're going to say here uh let's say index zero dot value we have this one and then we're going to say here x dot get pixel for the value of what we have assigned once we have that say refresh we will get now 75 and that 75 probably will be exactly in the center don't worry we're going to fix that by reposition that number but let's try that right now so i'm going to remove this let's remove this one all and just get this put it in there save refresh oh let's see do we have everything nicely there we are we're missing a bit it's a bit of a sloppy work all right there we are it is in the center so why, the reason why is this is the value of zero and because this is like a category axis, zero, one, two, three, exactly center. Let's move that here. So if we know that it always has a interval of one, we know that this here is minus 0 0.5. This should be 0 0.5. This is one and it's 1.5, etc., etc. So we can play around with that by just saying here, if we have this pixel value of whatever the tick is, minus 0 0.5 there we are now it's on that specific line let's start to loop through that and then we're good to go so we're going to say here x dot uh ticks and then we're going to say here dot for each and then we're going to say here for every value and for every index and i'm using i not index because we already have that here specified let's copy all of this put it in there let's delete this then I can say here, this will be just for the I, 
and this will be for the eye as well and then we should have everything up and running save refresh and there we are and that's it